Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. By the way, I forgot to mention these duders' names in the last part. They're known as Buzz Bomb. Which, yeah, kinda kinda sort of makes sense based on the way that they move and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, bubble gloop swamp time! World 4 begin! Wait, wait, actually, well, we kinda begun this before, but just to get a move and to set stuff up for the future. And the move, if you forgot, was over there. And by the way, the flippets, yeah, they, they're defeated pretty easily. <laughs> they just kinda hop around erratically. So, Bubble Gloop Swamp has that same piranha-filled swampy area all over the place here, and thus, we are going to have... Well, maybe a little bit higher. This is probably the, like, like the only first world of the, I mean, of the first four, excuse me, that, um, have any sort of worries, I guess you could say, of me dying, I'll say. <laughs> because, like, I, I have a pretty good grasp on the game overall, as you know, just that there's a bunch of things here that are kind of hard for an early game world, let's just put it that way. You'll see why as I go up to it, then I'm just gonna, I should, yeah, I should get out of this because I'm gonna be mauled by the frog. <laughs> and golden feather, another climbable cattail type thing. Always look up on these cattails to see if there's something that you can get somewhere, sometime. Maybe you'll miss something if you don't go up there. Let's just put it that way. There's some notes. <laughs> oh, this is a mean, mean one here. Ah, right, so you hit the switch. That appears up there. Looks pretty easy, right? Well, that's just perspective talking. We actually gotta go over there, and we gotta do a rigmarole all around. Oh, shoot. All around. I should actually go into banjo mode. <laughs> all around. This sort of kind of walking obstacle course type place, and no, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I will get the notes at least on the way there, and it gets a little bit thin. And of course, there is the uh, water down below of Doom. By the way, I, I just realized I'm gonna be coming back the other way, that's why I'm skipping some notes here. And okay, I got it. <laughs> that worked out pretty nicely. All right, now I'm gonna be going back carefully, not so much going forward carefully because I kind of have to go quick in order to beat the clock. Alright, so Jinjo over here. I'm going to be collecting the stuff up here, sort of kind of like on ye old way back. Because it's just not enough time to go and do those sorts of things on the way back. And I just realized something. I forgot to start a little side quest thingy involving some golden crocodiles. So I gotta go back to the start. Uh, and where is... oh, uh, whoops, I started a boss. <laughs> this is the yellow flibbits. Um, these are pretty easy, as long as you do the Wonder Wing. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of these, and... Yeah, wow, it's really slowing down. <laughs> and, yeah, it's pretty easy if, as long as you use the Wonder Wing. But otherwise, if you don't, they're probably going to bounce you into their own kind repeatedly, and you're going to be sad face. <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah. Alright, now i got to go back to the start, which was over this way. Yeah, so don't go in the waters, by the way, as before, on your way back. And I, This is kind of a thing, I don't want to backtrack on things too much on this world, because there's always a chance that you're gonna fall into the water and get mauled. But so, yeah. Alright, so we got these duders here. Mmm! Shoot an egg in there. <laughs> so, these are Croctus. And, yeah, this is what I realized that I forgot to shoot an egg in that other one, because one appears up there, and I like to do them... I should say, I like to divide them by area, you know, as I go. I like to follow them as I go do each particular area, because it just makes things a lot smoother overall. So, yeah. Alright, uh, going up. Whee! Now there's the other one. Nope, not there. It's it's up there. Yeah. So I gotta shoot an egg in that one right away, and then we'll see where our next location is going to be. Yeah, that's their their mouths open at different speeds depending on how far you are with these. The further you are in it, the faster their mouths go. Um okay, this was the Flibbit Arena. And now that other one appeared over here at these huts. Now keep in mind, we're not going to be able to get those notes down there without 
dying. Well, I mean, I guess it is possible to do with a glitch, but I don't recommend it, so we're gonna leave them for later. Uh, because, yeah, it's, it's a pretty risky thing to try and get those notes right now, especially when you're take, gonna take damage every couple to, like, maybe ten, five, ten seconds or so. I forgot how long it takes when you're in the water to take damage, because I try to stay away from the water. <laughs> Alright, so here is the Witch Switch, and this is interesting, because uh, it blows the head off that statue over there. You see a hole at the top of there, but the thing about that is we still can't do anything about that until we get up to the floor above that. So, that's gonna be a little bit later on, and whee! And there's the other Croctus. Uh, I'm gonna go try and get that Mumble token too, if at all possible. Okay, there we go. And by the way, they're completely harmless if you're worried about that, so yeah. They're just they're just kinda like these mechanical, friendly, golden crocodiles. And we can easily get back across here via our flap. And up here, behold the jiggy! Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, now I gotta get down. Hopefully without taking too much damage. <laughs> Camera work with me here. Uh, there we go. Probably a slight slowdown going on here as you hear in the music due to all these pad sprites going on. Probably, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, oh, I forgot, with, I think the other one appeared behind that crocodile, but I don't really want to do the full duder here at this moment in time. Don't worry about that crocodile, it too is a statue. Well, I should, I should say it's inanimate to an extent that it won't hurt you or anything like that. So yeah, that, but there is something... something to do with this crocodile in the future. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Alright, here is this one right here. Yeah, Oh, I thought I had that. And, oh, come on, come on, come on, we can do this. Yeah, oh, we can do this! Uh. I think I should just shoot eggs into it randomly. <laughs> oh, what? Did you just hit me in the cutscene? How, how dare you? How dare you? I can't move in cutscenes, that's a cheap shot. Um, uh, I guess I could get those golden feathers because I used a couple for those. The yellow flibbit boss, which really isn't much of a boss if you use the feathers. Okay. <laughs> I was a little bit offline on my initial jump there. Alright, and carefully get over to next cattail. Obviously, there's a Jinjo up there, don't miss that. Anytime you see a Jinjo, pick it up and. Yeah! Squish the frogs too. Uh, you can actually get those notes if you jump in the water and take damage, but you're probably gonna take two or three honeycombs worth of damage uh, as you go in there, so. but. Eventually, I'm going to show you the proper way of getting those notes without taking damage. And it involves that building up there that you see up on the hill. Uh, but I don't really want to use that just yet, because... Well, it, it's something that I want to do last in the world, because it's just simpler that way, because then I have to exit the world as that thing, and... Yeah, so it's, there's like a little trek through here, and then you exit this hole that you can't walk through, and yeah... And you guys are the meanest. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go back another way. And I believe that last one appeared over at the tortoise area type place. I think it was, wasn't it? I think, maybe? Well, I'm going there. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, it was. Yeah, there it is over there. Oh! I got nipped. <laughs> Oh no, oh, stop pushing me in the water! <laughs> so his feet are cold, he doesn't think to pull them in his shell, so... Just, uh, yeah, do that. <laughs> that's, that's the solution to this. And there you go, as long as I'm over here too, I will kill you, and try and time this right. Or I can just shoot randomly! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, when you feed them all, you get a jiggy for your troubles. Heck yeah! Now, um, I don't, I don't know if I want to come here later on because I'm probably gonna be impatient. So what I think I'm gonna do is jump for the Jinjo and come back <laughs> because there's a beehive there anyway. So why not? Yeah! Oh, 
Oh, I thought I missed it there for a second there. Um, yeah, there are. Oh, that's right. There's the boots up there. Ah, poopers. I forgot about that. So I didn't need to take damage there. Ah, well, it doesn't really matter. Anyway. <laughs> he's, he's so happy that his feet are warm that he pukes up a jiggy as a reward. Yes. <laughs> That's Banjo-Kazooie in a nutshell. I'm making pretty good progress here. Uh, but I'll do this one here. And then end off the part. So yeah, in here is a little, little couple things to do. And first, I'd like to go... Well, uh, I guess I'll show you in a minute. This is Tip Top. Yeah, I remember him from Diddy Kong Racing. Well, maybe not if you didn't play the game. So you gotta kind of watch the order here. So it's that one, that one, that one, and we gotta repeat that order. Yeah, it's Simon Says, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty easy, but how do we copy this? It's it's kind of weird how we copy this. But, uh, look at the, look up here. No, 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 no. I, I, I just want that way up above, if you don't mind. Please, can I get the empty honeycomb? I, I'd very much appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> No, 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 please, please, no, please don't show me again, no, can I skip? No, I know, I've, <laughs> I've got it memorized, I should have got that honeycomb after this, I guess, because he doesn't talk, um, you know, to repeat himself after you do this, so anyway, uh, it's this one, yeah, you actually gotta slam them <laughs> to, <laughs> to make them do their sounds in the proper order, there we go, now it's gonna be up to five, so, put on your memorization caps, Simon Says fans. Some of them are easier than others, it's it's all randomized. Uh, yeah, that, like that one's pretty easy, because it just goes in a circle between those three and then back, back over to the yellow. Like you see, you go one, two, three. I, I always think like in patterns rather than by colors or something like that. Uh, I just find it easier to remember things that way. <clears throat> so that's that randomized aspects. Alright, one more, and this one's a seven. Let's do it. Chirp. 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 Um... Wow, it uses all six of them, that's unusual. <laughs> um... 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 I, I would actually like to hear that again. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Watch carefully, PK Gam. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. So it zigzags between those on the, that side, goes back over to the red, then the back to the pink, and then the purple. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't I for sure? Hope so. Okay. What the heck? There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that does it sometimes. Oh, I was wrong. Yeah, if you do it wrong, you take damage for some reason. So, yeah. Okay, let's do this one more time. Okay, I got the first four here. Yellow, blue, light blue, purple, red. And then it goes to, oh, it goes to yellow, then purple. Okay, that's what I got wrong. Yeah, okay, I got it now. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Sometimes this goes easier than others, but uh, this is kind of a kind of a tricky one. <laughs> and <laughs> woo! Heck yeah, baby! Give me that giblet! Yeah! <laughs> now I gotta. Grab it off, grab it, and then I think I'm gonna end off the part here. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I finish off this world and probably explore a little more of Grunty's place. Oh yeah!